Welcome to Business Connection, I'm Liz Spencer. We're on location today at the Main Street Promenade on the second floor with Codeverse. Let's go inside and see what's happening. Cole, thanks for inviting me by your new space, love it. So tell me a little bit about why it's so important that our children know how to code these days. Yeah, I was reading an article in New York Times and they say in 20 years that 80% of the United States will either be self-employed or have a job in tech. And so our job is to get these little kiddos ready for, for those jobs in tech. Wow, and that's great. And that's what Coverse is all about. So why don't we, this is a great space, why don't Absolutely. you take me on a little tour? Yeah, Tell me how do you it. do this? So the first thing we do when the kiddos come in, we have our check-in app. So they'll find their name in their check-in app. Okay. And then when it checks them in, they'll have their very own iPad. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so then oh, they come cool. into the studio. This is, this is called our crater room. So all the kids will take off their shoes, their belongings, everything is space themed for Codeverse. Okay. Um, so they'll put their belongings in here and then they'll head into our studio. That's awesome. So uh, as the kiddos enter into the studio, they're gonna grab a little bit of our hand sanitizer here to keep those hands clean, grab their tablet, their name is gonna be on their tablet, and then they're gonna take that to our command couch. All right, and what is the command couch? So the command couch is iconic to Codeverse. Uh, the kiddos start and end all of their uh, classes right there. So that's where they're gonna get their curriculum and their lesson plan, and then explore the studio after that. That's awesome. Now tell me a little bit about the the class itself or the session, yeah. what happens in there? Yeah, so uh, the kiddos are, the first eight weeks, we consider them a codeling. So they're learning the basic core concepts of coding. After that, they graduate, they take a test, and they graduate to be a Novanaut. And when they become a Novanaut, we go out, we celebrate in the lobby with their parents, and we, that's when their lesson plans become a little bit harder, a little bit tougher, um, and a little bit more customized. Cool, and so they, they all have a tablet. And you've done something I think really cool here is that as they learn the code, they're able to see immediately what happens. Immediately. Tell me about, tell me about that. So what's so unique about KidScript rather than professional programming is we have the test screen right on the play screen. So the kiddos can use the code that they're writing and test the code on the same screen. And what's so great is that um, they can even test all of the hardware in the studio right on the screen as well. So they can put in KidScript and maybe turn a light off or Absolutely. turn a speaker on or something like yeah, that. So, so they, that immediate feedback, oh my God, it's so cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Nowadays, kids have instant gratification for everything. Mm -hmm. And we wanted a studio to incorporate the same feel. So when a kid uses code to program into the lights, and instantly, that's the aha moment that we're looking for. Right, well, and I think it's so important for them to see the direct correlation of the string of code does this and this you know, enhances my life, whether it turns a light on or off exactly. or a speaker on, because that's what we all are going for. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about KidScript. What is it? Yeah, KidScript is an actual programming language developed by our founder, Craig. Uh, it pretty much takes all the complexities out of professional programming and simplifies it for the kiddos to actually learn how to code through all of the core concepts. And through that simplification, does it set them up for future learning? Absolutely. It is a, it's a real language. We actually have kiddos making games that are on the App Store. That's wonderful. Because yeah. I would think that if you dwelled on too many of the current languages, language is always changing. So what they yeah. kind of need is a base Absolutely, and you know, block. there's a lot of block-based coding out there, and that's wonderful. It's really wonderful, it gets the kids interested, um, but we believe having them write out full syntax language is really important, starting at a young age. That's awesome. Yeah. So, um, how old are the kids that go here, and, and, and how long can they go? Yeah, so we are, classes are first grade through eighth grade, um, and you know we've had that question a lot. How long can our how long were, will our children attend Codeverse until right. they're master coders? Right. And really, that is at the rate of the child that's learning. Like we have our founder who's been coding for years and years and years, and he's learning new things every single day. So uh, code is one of those things. It's it's a language and it's ever evolving. And as long as you're practicing that, you're staying up to date. That's awesome. And so I see a bunch of. Uh, 
desktop iMacs? Yes, yes. So this is our mission control. So mission control is where uh, we have the kiddos. Some of the older kiddos tend to, to come in here. Uh, I'd say 10 and up. This is where they can use KidScript on an actual uh, desktop instead of a tablet. Wow, that's awesome. So it just gives ex expands their world a little bit more. Absolutely, absolutely. It just gives them a little bit more playing room. Um, and sometimes uh, the, it separates the, the older kids also from, yeah. from the younger kids. And so when, when we're sending our child here, how does this supplement what they're learning in school? Yeah, there's really, there, so there is no coding language being derived in schools. Okay. Um, so this is very unique to Codeverse itself. Um, they're, they're being introduced. I've seen a lot of Hour of Code or Tinker and things like that, um, but, but nothing where they're fully writing out and creating games front to back. That's awesome. Yeah. So this is a really good way for parents to supplement the education. Oh, absolutely. You know, we have a, a lot of our members are actually involved in extracurricular sports, mm -hmm. and then they come to Codeverse for their curriculum. So how does somebody get involved? What, when are your courses? How long do they last? Can I, is it a rolling admissions, so to speak? Yeah, so we, we do monthly memberships. Yeah. So parents uh, sign their children up for, uh, it could be one month, four months, for a year. Okay. Um, it, it's ongoing. They can sign up online or right here at the studio. And uh, the first, like I said, the first eight weeks, uh, they're getting specific lesson plans around the core concepts of coding. Once they graduate from that, they become a Novanaut, and that's when their lesson plans become a little bit, uh, I would say, a little bit tighter, harder, mm -hmm. more involved. Right, and is there, so if I can, if my kid's in sports, but I know that he has a window in spring, mm -hmm. And I could go for two, if for you know, eight weeks there, but I may, he may play baseball in the summer, so I don't want to do both because it's you know too much. Yeah. Can I do something like that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we also offer camps here. Okay. Um, so for the families that memberships might be a little bit too much of a commitment weekly, uh, we also have summer camps, spring camps, fall camps, and that we love our camps because we actually do everything that we do and more. We, uh, in our camps, we have a 3D printer, so the kids do 3D prints and design work. Uh, we do a full lighting day where the kids uh, hack into all the lights and will we'll act like it's the Super Bowl and it's a halftime party and like they have to program the lights. Uh, we'll also do a full day of robotics. So they get all of the coding that we do in our camp or our classes, and then we'll get all the extra in camp as well. That's wonderful. That sounds like a great uh, way to solve a lot of summer boredom, too. Lots yeah. of summer boredom right. is solved That's at awesome. Codeverse Summer Camp. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for taking time out of your day and showing me around. This place is phenomenal, and I, I think you have really stumbled onto something that is super important for our youth. Absolutely. You know, with KidScript and with just getting them ready for what the future holds. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah.